Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear and what you're seeing. Guys, I'm not sure if you guys saw the news in South Africa with this little baby girl, Jocelyn Smith, that went missing. On uh, February 19th of this year, she went missing. And her mother claimed that she went to work and left the baby with her boyfriend. And then all of a sudden she came back, the baby was missing. I don't know what's going on, y'all. But how is it that now the mother is arrested for sending, selling her own daughter for a thousand US dollars? Just watch and please comment. Let me know what you guys think about this because this foolery has got to stop. Six-year-old Jocelyn Smith are still unknown. The first great pupil went missing on Monday, the 19th of February. The child had been left in the care of her mother's boyfriend. ENC's Nobesutu Hechana reports. It's been 16 days since six-year-old Jocelyn Smith disappeared. According to her mother, Jocelyn had been sick and could not attend school on the day she went missing. Her mother's boyfriend, Jaquina Paulus, in whose care the child had been left, says he doesn't know what happened to her. Provincial police have confirmed detaining four individuals. Four people have been taken for questioning and the age is between 26 and 34. Uh, that will decide that will, if the questioning goes well, it could lead to either some of them going to court within this week. The police would not confirm the relationship between the individuals with the missing child, but say, based on the interrogations, more people could also be called in for questioning. We still don't have the child though because our ultimate goal is to find the child. Any possibility, we're following every possibility, any leads. Police Minister Peggy Tele says, despite additional resources for the search, some people continue to downplay their efforts. They found this issue being the issue that they can use for political and election. Uh, that, that time is coming. Uh, all of us will have to be there, but for now, uh, we have really an issue in our hands, and that is to find the baby. Uh, I, I'm told that things like the bloody stained clothes have been found. We've taken that to laboratory. It has not come back and all that. But we must have a closure on the matter. Then we can start politics. The search for Jocelyn continues. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town. The people that took my child to bring her back, because how would they feel if their child just disappeared like that? In now in South Africa, the story of a six-year-old Jocelyn Smith who went missing on the 19th of February near Cape Town. The sudden disappearance of the young girl triggered a frantic search in the nearby areas. For three weeks, police raided houses and deployed dog squads. Even residents formed communities to take part in the search for little Jocelyn. While the girl has still not been found, there is a new twist to the case that has shaken South Africa to its core. And at the center of this storm is Jocelyn Smith's mother. Our next story explains. The bond between a mother and daughter is cherished as the most profound connection in the world. Everyone believes in the sanctity of maternal love. But for South Africa's missing six-year-old Jocelyn, maternal haven turned into a nightmare. On February 19, 2024, Jocelyn allegedly disappeared from her house near Cape Town. This triggered a frenzied search effort in the nearby area. Locals and government authorities combed through every nook and cranny, leaving no stone unturned. From dank sewers to muddy pits, the search extended to even accusing neighbours as desperation mounted. Nationwide protests echoed with one question. Where is Jocelyn? We as a mother, lately we cannot sleep. We wonder where the child is. We are so scared to allow our little children to play outside because they will take our children. We just want justice to prevail. Please bring Jocelyn home. 
And we ask the whole the world, the whole South Africa, the whole West of Cape, Pal, um, Wallen people come to Shaltana and help us to look for that child. The fear that Jocelyn might have been whisked away to another city or country intensified with every passing day. The emotions of the people heightened when a blood-stained cloth and a knife surfaced near her residence. While these ominous discoveries were given away for forensic scrutiny, authorities remained tight-lipped about their findings. But the latest twist in the case has left the entire country shocked. The authorities have made their first arrests in the case, and those held in charge include Jocelyn's mother. Kelly Smith has been charged of human trafficking and kidnapping. Her boyfriend and two accomplices were also taken into custody. The prosecution alleges Kelly callously sold her daughter for a mere $1,000. We are one step closer to ultimately finding Jocelyn or what actually happened. Okay, guys, what did you think? I mean, this foolery has got to stop. Now, too often I've seen a single parent picks up the opposite sex as a boyfriend or a girlfriend and too many times they are negatively influenced by these partners that they pick up to cause harm to their own children. Now, we got to do better. And when I say we, I mean all of us. Um, as neighbors, as friends, as family members. Because now all of a sudden they're saying that the mother was on drugs and she needed the money and all of that stuff. Now, where were the neighbors that are searching for this young lady? Where were they when, you know, the mother was on drugs? Which, I mean, people nowadays, everyone wants to mind their business. But at the same time, look at what happened. Where was the state, you know, or, or child protective services at this time before the child disappeared? And it's like, and you, you sell your child for a thousand dollars? What's that? 14,000 rand? Like seriously, I, all right, no more 15,000 rand. Now that money ran out, where's your daughter? Where's your child? See y'all, please comment below. I know a lot of children are missing each year. I know I might get backlash because you're like, okay, why this one child? Because a lot of parents sell their children because of poverty. But at the same time, when we see it, we have to talk about it. A lot of children go missing and we don't know where they are. But the fact that we know this particular child is missing and when and why, it makes you think, you know, how many other children are actually missing because they're sold by their parents? Or how many other children are, are missing because they're sold by the partner of the parents, not even their own parent? Anyways, y'all, they need to do a background check to see how long this boyfriend has been in her life. Was he just in her life to get a hold of her daughter? Was she a part of it? Was she wasn't a part of it? Leave y'all comments below. And know Tony loves and appreciates y'all. And thank you guys for coming back.